favorite from the Collins creatures. This is Athena, my adopted Greek tortoise. I got her because I was at a reptile rescue and they offered Athena to me and I accepted, so now I have Athena. The scientific name for the Greek tortoise is Testudo graeca, and they're one of the five Mediterranean tortoise species, with the other four being the Russian tortoise, the Hermans tortoise, the Egyptian tortoise, and the marginated tortoise. Oddly enough, they are not from Greece, with most of their range being in the Middle East and in North Africa, with small portions of their range being in Iberia and in the Balkans, which does include some parts of Greece. They live in rocky hillsides, scrubs, forests, fields, and meadows where they will eat vegetation. Like most tortoises, they live for a very long time, up to a hundred years, with the oldest one on record being named Timothy, oddly enough, because it was a female. Timothy was born in the Ottoman Empire in 1844, and she went on to live a very adventurous life, living on a Portuguese privateer ship and then on several British warships, including one that took place that took part in the bombardment of Sevastopol during the Crimean War. After her naval service, she retired to Powder Room Castle's Rose Garden, where she lived and was cared for by the daughter of the 16th Earl of Devon. And she lived there until her eventual death in 2004 at the age of 160, and she is currently buried at the castle. The Greek tortoise is also a very ancient species, with definitive fossils being found from the early Pliocene epoch, or around 5 million years ago. They are fairly large for a Mediterranean tortoise, with males getting 6 to 8 inches and females getting larger from 7 to 9 inches in shell length. Athena is about 7 and a half inches. Other differences between males and females are common to all tortoises, like their tail length, with males having a longer tail than females, and they can vary in color, but they are generally brown and yellowish tan with varying patterns. There is also something known as a golden Greek, which is a kind of Greek tortoise that has a lot of yellow coloration. And they also have very long nails that are good for digging. Now let's move on to their captive care. Despite being a small tortoise species, they still need a fairly large enclosure. The optimal enclosure size should be three by six foot with a sandy soil substrate. And you should give them a hard surface to feed on to minimize ingestion of substrate. And if it is abrasive, it can help keep their beak in check. Like all tortoises, Greek tortoises need UVB lighting, and the UVB lighting should be strong enough to reach the surface where they are and still give them plenty of exposure. Then you should make sure that your heat light and your UVB light, if they're not already one light, are close together so that the tortoise doesn't prioritize one over the other or else the tortoise will get negative health effects from ignoring the other source. Their heat source should be fairly hot, getting up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Greek tortoises need water, but they don't need too much water because one, they live in fairly hot environments, and two, tortoises don't swim. So you can give them a shallow water dish, just enough for them to soak in, because tortoises do like to soak in water. And you should also give them at least one hide so they can get out of the heat. Greek tortoises are herbivores, like most tortoises, and they'll spend much of their time grazing on the edible landscape. 
So you should provide a variety of plants like dandelions, clovers, plantains, wild strawberry, and thistle for them to eat. And for a more complete list of edible tortoise plants, refer to this video here. Some store-bought salad plants are okay. Iceberg lettuce provides a lot of water and fiber, but not a lot of nutrition, so it shouldn't be fed as a staple. And calcium supplementation is helpful, especially if the tortoise is immature and growing. And finally, Greek tortoises are awesome intera and interactive pets that are fun to keep. And I'm going to do a future video on a new and improved tortoise table for both of my tortoises because with Fluffy, my Russian tortoise, being a male and Athena being a female, despite being different species, you can kind of guess how that's going. So that is the Greek tortoise. I hope you enjoyed my video and hearing the story of Timothy, the 160 year old war hero tortoise. And I hope you learned something. I certainly learned a lot while researching for this video. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you next time on Collins Creatures.